Ciao guys and welcome back to Lampies. Today we have a, a death of a cat. <laughs> we have a tragic news that unfortunately we have to say. And that is going to be I'm leaving for Italy and living here let me alone. Hello guys! Ciao, Ciao guys! And welcome back to Lempis! Ali is moving back to Italy for... No more Bubucino! Yeah, no more Bubucino in the house. For how long? Six months or how long? Uh, no, three months. For from, three months, uh, May? From... End, no, from um, beginning of June to... Uh, end of September. No, end of September. I would say up to the 10th of uh, September probably. So June, July, August. So three months. Okay. Three months, three yeah. months. So it's abandoning me and leaving me here by myself. And my father called me last week and really told me that he needs uh, help with the, with the property and just to take care of the animal. And uh, she, he asked me, uh, can, can you stay or can you come for some time? And since my job allowed me really to be freely and I can do uh, my, my job from wherever in part in the world, I just need an internet connection. I said, okay, you know what, I can do it, I can do it. Uh, this is probably going to be the last, last summer that I'm doing that, but... Uh, Why? Because oh, we, when, when we are having kids, I don't think we are being going to be that free. I'm not going to be that free that I can just say, okay, I'm leaving you here with the kids and <laughs> go three months Yay, in Italy. I'm yeah, I'm gone, here is the babies. <laughs> Or maybe I can just take the babies with me. I, mean, I think my mother would be really happy about that. And the mother here of the babies? The mother here of the happy would be even more happy to be by herself, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Anyways, why didn't you, you know, why didn't you ask me first if, uh, if it's fine for you to go? I did ask you first. Oh, you told me already, baby. I'll be going to Italy. No, I said there is the option for me to go to Italy because my father asked me that. Are you fine? I would never do that without asking uh, you for first or without talking to you. We are a married couple now. I cannot take this kind of decision. So without. before we were married, we just say yes, I'm going. No. Because no. there is no difference. <laughs> uh, when you are in a relationship and you're living together, if you're living for a, a certain amount of time, that is. But as for now, let's focus on the team Ali's leaving. You know, when, when Ali informed me that he is leaving, I was like, okay, that is fine. And I was like, why are you not crying? That's what you <laughs> said. Why are you not crying? And, and I said to him, if, 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 if I start crying, would you stay? What did you say? I said, no. So why should I cry? <laughs> why should I cry for you? Too? Why should I no, cry? No, but actually, uh, come on. It's not like that. I first ask you, is you are fine with that? And you said yes. And then when I see that you said yes so easily, <laughs> then I said yes. Why are you not crying? But it was ironic. That it oh, was okay. different. It was ironic because I, I, I actually saw you excited. <laughs> I know. Are you excited that I'm leaving? Yeah, Why? To be honest, for me, the best part of our relationship was when we were not living together. <laughs> Let me tell you this, living together is nice, but to be honest, you know, in a relationship where you have different experience, obviously, than I am, but for me, the best part of our relationship was not, was when we were not living together. You know why? Because there were no fights. Mm -mm, it's not about fight. Now, when we, we used to be, when you were living in Italy and I was in Germany, when I would, we would see each other once a month. In that one th once a month, I would come to Italy for four days. It was holiday every time, that's why. Yeah, that's what, that's one thing. So in, in those four days, you were not working, you were not doing anything. It was just lumpy and Alice moment. Yes. But when you are living together, these moments are gone because most of the time, I'm, I'm working, we are working Monday to Friday. I know. There's, those moments are gone and I think for me, that's, that's why I always feel like that other part was really the best time I know. now we have each other every time so it's it's good to wake up next to each other good morning good morning kids. i mean there are positive and, and negative yeah. so i guess it's uh, living together is amazing <laughs> and it has so many positive sides but it's also bringing negatives because 
you are compromising your time uh, with another people another person's schedule and uh, you always be to be coordinated and communication we know that our <laughs> major problem is communication and uh, sometimes uh, we get into fights for stupid things because we we didn't understand really well each other or we didn't plan uh, our days accordingly and yes exactly but it's not only that it's also i think the tension to be honest when you live together you don't have so much time together as you thought you would have. I mean, yes, yeah, so from one side you have uh, all the nice stuff, which is, of course, living together, waking up together, doing things together that are fun, because then there are also the duties that are less fun. <laughs> There's also cleaning the house cleaning that the has house to be done more when you're stuff. living together, and if I was by myself, I would do a little bit of less house cleaning. Don't say that, I don't want to hear. <laughs> what? Uh, okay, uh, anyway, so are you going to visit me? I'm gonna do it. When? I don't know when, but obviously I'm gonna. That's also why I'm excited about it. That gives me more time, more reasons to come and eat pasticceria in Italy. <laughs> I'll be coming and also to go visit your friends, obviously, in Mama's amazing food. So, what are the, the pro? The pro are that you have an occasion or an excuse to come back to Italy more often and go to the beach, go to the nice beach and eat nice food. Another positive thing, for example, is that uh, she's going to be dieting and I'm not going to be there cooking for her every time like, like it is now. And that is also an like, important point. So she's going to lose here some... <laughs> some way. Yes, I'm also excited fat. about that. Like, honestly, just... I, I hope I'm going to be dieting really all night. I might be also stress eating because you're not home. But at the time, I'm just thinking, yeah, when Ali's away, Honestly, I'm going to go for a week without pasta, without potatoes, then just eating salad, fresh tomatoes, and drinking carrot juice. Mm -hmm. Another thing I think is really a time just to, to, to focus, to communicate with Lemp. It's also some me time. Of mm -hmm. course, it's going to be a whole lot maybe than what I thought. But there is a whole lot of negative things, like really things that I will miss a lot. Going to the gym together, for example, I love that we uh, go yes. to the gym together, so I'll miss that. Cooking together. Cooking together. Waking up together. Or going to bed together, that is also the most difficult time. Yes, also because you usually that is the time when she's panicking. So <laughs> that is funny actually to tell <laughs> as a story. Like for me, when I go to bed, I switch off everything, like mentally, I just, you know, I am already off. I'm already like, okay, my mind is uh, completely is done, is done, it's time to sleep. I don't think about anything I have to do the, the next okay. month. For her, it's like, I'm going to bed, is oh, did I plan well the, my, my next morning? What am I doing tomorrow? Yeah, what am I doing tomorrow? Oh, today I get a blitzer, but I don't, I'm not sure that a blitzer <laughs> is like, uh, I got a fine for traffic uh, fine and traffic like fine. That. Yes, that is true. So usually when I go to bed, it's also the time that I do a little bit of reflection about the day. Like, what have I done today? What, what have I missed today? Uh, what, what else I'm going to miss about you is you are like full of positivity. Let me put it that way. In my life, you make me smile. You make me feel positive about everything. I like it when you're at home and when I come back home and I see that you're smiling, I also start smiling. Yeah. And that is, I, I think that's really the fear. Like, if you go away for so long, I feel like that might just go to the negativity side. You can just call me and just say, it, uh, what is your problem? I'm going to say, shut up, just be positive. <laughs> Shut is it is it cool? Really? Shut up, babe. Be positive. <laughs> yes, that is going to be. Then I'm saying um, for sure I'm going to say you're so mean with me. Yes. <laughs> but why are you being so mean, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes it surprises me how emotional I mm. get. Yes. I, I can the be like woman, really yeah. like I don't care, I don't care, I'm strong. But if I get on the other side is uh, is ice cream in the sun, everything just... she's melting. Sometimes she has really meltdown that I don't know, the world is <laughs> going to crash tomorrow and uh, we don't have a chance to survive. No baby, it's just a fine, you know, it's a fine. No, but it's only... <laughs> I know. So I'm going to miss your positivity. Like you yes, just, and on you my side really I can say excited. I on my side I'm going to say that I'm going to meet somebody kicking my ass. I, really? But I, I think I 
I, I do. I have better stuff than kicking your ass. One of the things that I appreciate most about you that uh, you are really a hard-working person and you are so focused in reaching your goals that are always, uh, that is inspiring to me, like, uh, like seeing how much effort you put in your work and in doing the things that you are doing make me really feel I have to wake up and match this this my partner because you know she is like that and uh, I should be as at least as much focused as she is. So the drive? Yeah the drive that you have uh, is something that inspires me and make me think that what I'm I have to work I have to make things done and uh, that, that's something a part that uh, I'm going to miss about uh, you Thank for sure. You. Now that's something better than I'm going to miss you. But, but <laughs> translate it simply, I'm going to miss you. somebody kicking my ass. <laughs> Come on, that is the translation. Oh baby, I'm nicer than that. Okay. But anyway, we have in our days, we are lucky, but we have many tools uh, that keep us Skype, in contact. We have WhatsApp. Skype, WhatsApp. Uh, instant messenger so apart from the physical uh, presence uh, i don't think we are going to miss each other a lot also because as i said two hours flight 50. two hours flight considering we are also in july i'm coming in june i'm coming to italy in yes. july i'm coming to italy because we have to go to namibia and we'll be flying from there and in august i'm obviously coming because we want to go to exactly Saturnia and go to Puntala. Puntala. yep You're so lucky. guys yes so guys anyways we are still going to remain in touch with you on lempis lempis will remain active also during the time that we'll be separate and what is good is also that we're going to have this time then not only content that we record in germany but a lot of videos also from italy maybe also feature then alice uh, mother who is really a good cook and share with you some authentic authentic Authentic. How to make fettuccine. Yes, authentic Italian fettuccine. recipes from my mother-in-law. Okay. That was it from us today. If you're new here, subscribe to our channel, give us a like, and most important guys, always leave a comment. We appreciate your help.